Hey guys, it's me, John Anthony Chihawk Soltero. I am the anti-hero, and I'm here today with another mail call. Um, now, there was a, a statue that I unboxed earlier, um, but I didn't unbox the comics. So I'm going to go and show you what I picked up. And they did not slab the cardboard together with the comics. Um, it did feel pretty sturdy, though, so I'm fairly confident about this one. I'm not so confident about the other one, which does not feel like there was any backing put to it. Okay. So I picked up JSA 39. Oh, this is a Rags Morales cover with Power Girl. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, there we go. I also picked up, this is a pretty spiffy looking copy. There's a little bit of an indent at the top upper corner, but I think that could be pressed out and this could get a pretty high grade. They have it graded at a 9-2. Um, this is Green Lantern Corps 201 first Kilowog. Um, I got a Kilowog first appearance previously, but... Um, it, uh, I mean, that one's going to be part of my PC. I want to get one of them graded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate and really look at which one's nicer and then potentially do um, the grading based on that. Uh, this last book, it, it's a dollar bin book, but there's a significance to it. And if you watch my previous uh, video on from last week about my shadow gallery, the hallway with all my artwork in it, this is Exiles number 42. And what's special about this is this has the, the page in it of the page that's up on the wall, uh, drawn by Jim Calafiore. And so I'm going to take this out. And I believe it's page 25. Oh, it's got the inserts in it and everything. So what I'm planning on doing with this book is... Um, framing it and putting it right next to uh, the right next to the, the page. I'm also going to uh, find the flash book that goes with the Ed McGinnis Dexter Vines flash piece. And there you go. Is it right here? Page 25. Let me see if I can get you a closer look at it. Sorry, this, this light isn't very good. Um, it's been better before. I'm not sure what's going on here. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool book to have because now I can, what I did with my um, Nightwing area where I have the two pages of Nightwing artwork, that I have the actual books next to them. Um, so this one I pre-opened. I did not take the book out, but as you can see, it is dead flat. And the book is just shoved in here. There is, um, this book is pretty heavily damaged. And um, yeah, I'm, I mean, look at this. It wasn't even put all the way in the bag of the board. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you are selling comics anywhere and you are shipping them to people, this is not the way to ship comics. I don't care if it's a dollar book. Um, dollar book, if it was already in this condition, is one thing. This is not how the book was advertised. So I will be contacting this individual. If you can see right here, look at it. Dog-eared at the top. It's not sealed in the bag and the board. It's not put all the way to the bottom. Um, there was no uh, bracing on it. It wasn't slabbed between two pieces of cardboard. There's lots of spine damage on this book. So that person's going to get, uh, I'm going to contact them and hopefully they just refund me my money because uh, that was a waste of time and a waste of my money. And um, But it's good that you get to see stuff like that because... You know, this is this is a lesson in learning how to deal with uh, bad customer service. 
That spine's not even that great. There's tons of dings all up and down this, and this is not what this book looked like when they advertise it. So I'm gonna take pictures of this and then just send it over to them and be like, look, uh, I want my money back. Um, and this is not the way to send a book to anybody. Um, and I'm wondering if maybe they were upset that the book didn't end up going for more on the auction because it wasn't a buy now, it was an auction. And maybe they just piece it together like that. But then you start your auction at the minimum you're willing to take uh, for that item. So, but that's it for today, boys and girls. Uh, hope you are taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other. Wear your mask, wash your hands. Um, here in Arizona, the... Um, the infectious rate is extremely high. I live in Pima County where it's 12.7% positivity rate. Maricopa County, which is just north of us, is 14.5%. So that should tell you something about how serious this is. This has been going on a year now. Um, I'm trying to get a vaccine, but right now they're prioritizing people who are older. Um, so I'm gonna have to see how that's gonna work. Uh, because I really want to be able to give my father a hug. I haven't given him a hug in a year. And uh, if that's the only reason for getting a vaccine, uh, that's a good enough reason. But I'm also doing it for herd immunity and protecting people and stuff like that. So if you have the opportunity to get a vaccine, please do so. Um, and please ask questions if you're not sure about it, because uh, the positives outweigh the negatives. That's how we have to look. But otherwise, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and until next time, stay anti-hero strong.